Given the functions f of x equals negative x minus 2 squared minus 4 and g of x equals 2, answer the following questions. In part a, we'll find the difference of functions f and g. Subtract the y values of the first point to get negative 10. Record this value in the table. Subtract the y values of the remaining points and record their differences in the table. We can now draw the graph of h of x. Next, we'll algebraically derive h of x. Replace f of x with negative x minus 2 squared minus 4, and replace g of x with 2. Simplify to get negative x minus 2 squared minus 6. The domain of h of x is x belongs to the set of real numbers, and the range is h of x is less than or equal to negative 6. We can write h of x equals f of x minus g of x as h of x equals f of x minus 2, since g of x equals 2. This is the same as the transformation equation y equals f of x minus 2. Translate f of x down two units to get h of x. In part b, we'll find the quotient of functions f and g. Divide the y values of the first point to get negative 4. Record this in the table. Divide the y values of the remaining points and record their quotients in the table. We can now draw the graph of h of x. Next, we'll algebraically derive h of x. Replace f of x with negative x minus 2 squared minus 4, and replace g of x with 2. Simplify to get negative 1 over 2 x minus 2 squared minus 2. The domain of h of x is x belongs to the set of real numbers, and the range is h of x is less than or equal to negative 2. We can write h of x equals f of x divided by g of x as h of x equals f of x divided by 2 since g of x equals 2. This is the same as the transformation y equals 1 over 2 f of x. Vertically stretch f of x by a scale factor of 1 half to get h of x.